Hello, Team Herbalife. I am so excited to train you guys on wellness evaluations today. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Heather Godwin, and I've been on the products for a while now. When I first got started, I used to be a Chinese waitress. Um, I hated it. I wasn't very good at it. And at the time, I was going to school um, to be a dietitian, to work in the nutrition industry, but I wasn't finished with school yet. And so... Um, as I got on my nutrition program, I remember being very skeptical, um, never tried anything like this before. My, my friend in college had done Herbalife, and she loved it, and she looked great. So I'm like, fine, whatever, I'll do it. And immediately, I got incredible results, so much energy, sugar cravings gone, lost 11 pounds, 4% body fat really quickly, no exercise. I didn't even know you could do that in a healthy way and feel that great. So I absolutely love Herbalife, and at the time, as a waitress, um, like I said, I didn't have a lot of confidence or skills when I got started, but everybody at my job wanted to know what I was doing. I was happy again. I was losing weight and that was, that was unusual for them. And, um, all I did was plug them in with my coach. My coach did a lot of talking as I learned what to say and how to say it. And I got a couple of clients that first month and only worked about five hours. I made an extra $800. That was so incredible for me. I plugged into the trainings. I kept getting a little bit better. And those clients reordered. I got a couple of clients, more clients the next month, made $1,600 my second month in business. Now, that was more than I was making working full time. I have the job as a waitress that I hated, so I decided to just do this, and um, I actually got to marry one of my clients, so we like to joke, you can find herbal love in herbal life. We are very invested in our clients, so I married mine, and we've been able to create an incredible life with herbal life. We've been able to design our own life. We travel the world. We love having a flexible schedule to be able to travel and to make an incredible income to allow us to do so and to prepare for our future and our family, Okay. We make over $6,000 a month. We're just getting started. We absolutely love Herbalife. And I built all of that income with the wellness evaluations. That's essentially how I did all of this to get to the global expansion team. 2,500 now is where we're at. And, but when I first got started, I actually went with my mentor and we did what are called pull tabs. So at the time, I didn't have a car. And I didn't have a lot of confidence or skills, so that's what I felt like would be the best method for me was to start doing these pull tabs, which I would take the train at 6 a.m. in the morning and go all the way down to my coach's house, which lived about 45 minutes away from me, and we would do these pull tab flyers for a good hour to two hours every single day for six months, okay, guys? So I shared that with you so you can see my level of dedication. I wanted my situation to change. I was really willing to invest in myself and in Herbalife and put in the work to produce the results that I wanted. I was willing and coachable and did whatever my coach told me to do. And those first six months taught me a lot of skills inside of consistency, inside of integrity, showing up, doing what I said I was going to do, being on time, being organized and prepared. And all those wellness evaluations or all the, sorry, all the pull tabs plugged into wellness evaluation. So when someone would call me off my flyer, I would do the button questions, button response, and I would plug them into a wellness evaluation. And that's how I all got started, okay? And in the beginning, I did these wellness evaluations out of my home. So um, you can do them anywhere, you can do your house, a coffee shop, a park, you know, wherever. And uh, now we, my husband and I own a nutrition club, so we do them there, and we allow our team to do their wellness evaluations at the club, too, if they'd like. But you really can do these wellness evaluations everywhere. But before I begin on the training on wellness evaluations, I want to ask you guys to ask yourself, who are you as a coach? So going into your business, going into learning how to do these wellness evaluations, you want to ask yourself, what kind of coach do you want to be? Who do you want to, who do you want to attract because if you're gonna attract people that are like you so you want to be the best version of yourself the best coach so that you can attract quality clients quality people that want to work in your business and want to be clients with you and build a business with you so first thing is to really work on yourself and to be the best version of you that you can be and continue to work on that okay and the evaluations are all about mindset okay so I um, when I do my wellness evaluations, I have an intention. So anytime you do any type of presentation, even your invitations, okay, having an intention and mindset is everything. So if you have an intention that you are going to change this person's life, they're going to be your next presence team member, they're going to get on these products, they're going to love you. If you have a focus and intention or that you're going to love on this person and build an incredible relationship with them, that is very powerful. And you're going to have a lot better success rate 
than if you just go in hoping, wishing, or not even intentional what you're doing. You're just like winging the whole thing, okay? So intentional action and intentional outcome that you want inside of what you're doing is going to produce better results quicker than just doing something just to do it. Okay. So the power of intention is very important. Your power of your mindset, being positive of the outcome you want to produce. Okay. Now I worked very closely with my mentor in the beginning. Um, I did not try to do these on my own, nor would I recommend doing that. I would recommend working very closely with your coach for the first, I did about six with my coach. So I like to do Three that they do, okay, and I watch and I learn, I take notes, okay, because I don't want to waste their time. I really am investing in myself and allowing my coach to teach me how to do these. And then the next three, I do with them there so that in case they have questions or just for confidence and support, they can be there with me. And in about six, depending on you, you know, you might be ready sooner, you might need a couple more, then you can feel confident to do them on your own and to put your own personality into it and to refine them and to really make them yours. And that's what I've been able to do, but I definitely did not do it alone. And I definitely did it with a lot of practice and consistency, which is key to anything that you want to get good at really. Okay. Now I always had a target and a goal and a plan. This is really important with your goals. Okay. A lot of people maybe have goals, but they don't have a plan and they don't have a target as to how they're going to reach those goals. So right out the gate, okay, for those of you that are new or those of you that have been around for a while, I would highly recommend that you track your progress. We do these with gauges, which you can find on the pwcinfo.com page. You can print off gauges, which are just tracking system, so that you can really know how many appointments you need to set up how many wellness evaluations you need to do in order to produce a certain amount of clients or with recruiting, same thing, how many presentations do you have to do to produce how many coaches or new members that you would like to have in your business that month. And that will give you a lot of power and it's kind of like your weight and measurements for your business because you wouldn't go in trying to lose weight and not track your progress. Like, you would have no way of knowing if you're on track or not. It's the same thing with your business. It is very wise and smart business move to invest in doing these gauges, okay? And people sometimes resist them or aren't very good at them or understand them at first, but they really are going to be a powerful tool for you to use in order to know if you're on track with your goals or not or where to refine and reflect. So obviously, I'm a big believer of gauges. I love them. I did not like them in the beginning, but they've really helped me in tracking my wellness evaluations so that I knew how many I needed to do every day to produce how many clients and how many coaches I wanted that month. And that gives me a lot of confidence every time I need to set goals of exactly what I need to do to produce exactly the results I want. And there's a lot of confidence and power in that, let me just tell you, versus just shooting in the dark and hoping you're gonna make your goal. That's just never empowering or fun for anybody. And the chances of you hitting your goal aren't as high as if you have a plan of action, okay? So in the beginning, my plan of action was to do two every single day. So I was set up enough appointments as it took. So I. I talked to as many people as it took to set up two appointments. I would even set up three appointments every day because I knew one of them might cancel or reschedule. That way I definitely would do two wellness evaluations every single day. And that was my goal. It didn't happen all the time, but that was my focus and goal was to do two every single day. And that's what I try to do consistently as I built, we built our income up to $6,000 a month. Now let's talk about why wellness evaluations. Why do you want to learn how to get good at these? So the first thing I love about the wellness evaluations I feel like they're very professional, okay? When you learn, when you get to see them yourself and you're doing the wellness evaluation, it's, a very, it's very professional for the person that you're meeting with, okay? It um, has you represent the company very well. Remember, we're a nutrition company. You don't need to be an expert. You don't need to be a nutritionist or a scientist, but you do need to know fundamentals about nutrition. And just reading the wellness evaluation alone, which you definitely want to do yourself, is going to give you that foundational education about nutrition so that you can educate people and know what you're talking about and have a good base of professionalism and education to share with the person you're meeting with, okay? that's They're very professional and I love that. Second thing, I love that you get the opportunity to build relationships with them. So, um, I like doing anything that I can do face to face. So, you know, in the beginning we did a lot of things over the phone, which are great. Now we have technology where you can do Zoom and Skype and, you know, or you can do them in person. But anytime you can really see someone's face, you can build that connection and relationship with them. So I personally love to do my wellness evaluations in person as much as possible. Of course, you can do them 
over Zoom or Skype or something like that so that you can do it over the phone, but it's definitely great to do them in person. And it's an, they're about 45 minutes to an hour long, so it gives you a, a little bit of a better opportunity to connect and build a relationship with them. And we know that when people trust you and they like you, they're more likely to invest in your product in Herbalife because they know they can trust you and they like you. And that's really a key to success too, is those relationships. We are a relationship built building business. We're not just about selling products. We're really about investing in people and building relationships. And the wellness evaluation allows you to do that very easily. Okay. The other thing are referrals. Oh my goodness. You will get endless amount of referrals if you do this correctly. And let me just tell you, referrals are gold for your business. Okay. Companies will spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in advertising or even to get referrals, okay, because they know how valuable they are. Herbalife, free, pretty much free to get referrals if you do this correctly. And that is an easier way to build your business than cold market any day, okay? So referrals are freaking awesome. You will love referrals. And I'm gonna teach you how to get really good at getting referrals so that not only can you talk to friends and family, but then after that, then what? right? So if you have these referrals, you can actually start building a business with your friends, 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 family, friends, and it keeps going on and on forever. And that's actually how I met my husband. My husband was a referral, a referral, of a referral, of a referral. And that's how I met my husband. So for those of you who are single, you're definitely going to want to get good at these because you never know what can happen, right? <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about the tools that you'll need in order to do the wellness evaluations, okay? So the first thing, Obviously, you're going to need your wellness evaluation booklets. So you can get these on myherbalife.com. So all these tools I use on myherbalife.com, okay? So they're very easy to get a hold of, and they're very duplicatable. I wouldn't recommend going and creating your own thing. I've seen people just uh, print off this page and use that. I wouldn't do that. I would recommend actually using the full booklet, and here's why. One, you get... The valuable education. So this gives people nutrition education that is very simple for them to understand and very simple for them to apply because we know nutrition can be very complicated and overwhelming for, you know, the average person. They don't even want to know all that stuff anyway. So this is very valuable education and that's part of the value and the service that you're giving to people in the wellness evaluation. So don't rip yourself off for them by taking shortcuts and not using the whole booklet. These are only about a dollar a piece, okay? So you can buy a pack of 10 for about $11.50 on MeyerBelife.com. So you will love this as well, worth the investment, okay? to get started with your business. And uh, because remember, you're gonna get referrals and those referrals are priceless. So the wellness evaluation booklet is first. Now, when you get started as a member, you will get what's called a lean protein estimator. And if you lost yours or don't have one, you can reorder them on myherbalife.com. But this is a tool and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions how to use it to calculate someone's BMI, how, approximately how much muscle mass they have and how much protein and they need and their resting metabolic rate. Okay, so this gives you some good education that you're gonna use in the booklet. You'll need this for sure. Now there is a version online. If you type in and Google Herbalife Lean Protein Estimator, you can do it online, um, or you can do it old school and just have this tool with you. Really up to you. My husband likes to use the Google version. I like to use this. Both systems work. The other thing you're going to need is um, you don't have to have this. I prefer it in the beginning. I did not have one. Truthfully, I couldn't afford to have one. But if it works for you, this is called an Omron, and it is a body fat scanner. So this will scan body fat and BMI. So on the wellness evaluation booklet, there will be a spot to fill in someone's body fat percentage. Now, there's a lot of different tools that you can use. You don't have to get the Omron. This is probably the most popular standard and most cost-effective way to check track someone's body fat percentage. They're about $30, $35. You can get them at Walmart, Amazon, online. Just type in Omron, O-M-R-O-N, and uh, they will pull up the different Omron machines. People have used scales, Tanitas. There's a lot of different things that you can use, but a fat machine, it, a fat body fat scanner is really important to have. Now, you'll also want um, the typical daily diet sheet. Now you can see, I just have this on a clipboard. You can find this typical daily diet sheet on myherbalife.com. Now I don't know exactly where it is on the website. However, if you search on the search engine on myherbalife.com, just type in typical daily diet and it will pull up the sheet, okay? 
and um, there will be two sheets. It'll be under the wellness profile. And the first sheet I don't use because it's pretty much the same information that's already in the wellness booklet, so it's kind of redundant. So I don't use that. But I do the second sheet, which is this typical daily diet sheet, okay? And the whole purpose of this is for someone to fill out what they typically eat in a day and to give you insight on what they need to improve in their diet, okay? So we'll go over that a little bit more in just a bit, but you can print those off. I print off quite a few of them, keep them on my clipboard so I can travel with it, take it with me, keep it at the club. And then in the back here, I have a chart for, it's just a height and weight um, chart that you can print off. I just found it online. It will tell me for such and such height, a healthy weight for a small, medium, and large framed male or female. So it's great. So that you know, and you can educate someone what a healthy weight range is for their body. Okay. So that's where you can, I just tape that to the back. And then you also want, um, a catalog. We're going to do a catalog presentation after the wellness evaluation. So you want to have some catalogs. And the price sheet. Some catalogs come with price sheets, some do not. So you'll definitely want to make sure you have a price sheet if it's not already in the catalog. And uh, some receipts. We want to receipt everything. So definitely have some receipts. These are from Herbalife. They're about a dollar for 25. So you can get yourself. And you should actually get a couple of these in your new member kit too. So you should have some of those. But you can order more on myherbalife.com. And then we happen to have this. You don't have to use this. This is a price chart that breaks down the quick start advanced and ultimate programs uh, for a month and then per day and per meal. And we just calculate everything and just divide it all out and put this little cute spreadsheet thing together. So you can do this. You don't have to use one of these, um, but you can make that too to make it easy to see the prices for each of the programs. Okay. And then the last thing that I have, we actually made this too. It's an Herbalife binder, which again, you can get on myherbalife.com. And it has, um, what I love about it, it has results, picture results in the back, which results are everything. So you're gonna wanna have, um, you know, you can pull them up on your phone on Facebook, you can have them printed up like this in a booklet, but results are gonna be everything. So you're gonna wanna have people's before and after pictures. And then the key thing that you're going to want is, Somewhere you're going to want to have like this top sheet is a healthy body fat percentage range and this bottom sheet is a healthy BMI range. So you can educate people on what a healthy body fat percentage is for them and what a healthy BMI range is for them. Okay. So that you can just make up your own or print them off or you can get these copies too if you'd like. Um, but we have, we use that as a tool as well. Okay. So those are all the tools only. The other thing that you can get on the, oh, one more thing. I actually print off weight and measurement charts. Okay, again, this is from Herbalife. And uh, because I'm intending they're gonna get started on the products right away. And when they do, I like to weigh them and measure them at the club on the spot because I want them to be committed and start right away. So I will weigh and measure them immediately. And I have products on hand, so typically they take them home with them that day, unless I'm out of something and need to reorder it. So the weight and measurement chart is great to have, okay? And it already has three hole punches because I'm gonna put it in my follow-up binder, which is key, okay? So I have an organized follow-up binder that you can use um, to stay organized with your follow-up schedule. You'll be able to find more of that training on my Life on the pwcinfo.com page. And then two more scripts that I like to use, and those these will be up on the website as well. This is a referral calling script. So you don't need to reinvent everything or come up with something on your own. Don't you worry. We have scripts for everything. So this is a script for how to call someone's referrals. So you'll have confidence in getting the referrals because you'll know what to say when you call them. So this is a cool script to hold on to. And I have it printed out. The other thing is the wellness evaluation flow chart. So I'm going to go over my flow of the wellness evaluation, but I don't want you to feel like you have to memorize it or know it exactly. You'll definitely want to take some notes, but this will give you um, the outline that I do of exactly what my wellness evaluations are like. They're pretty much the same every time. So you can get this too, so you can have the flow of how to do them. And I've, I've seen some of my coaches as they're training, they will print this off and kind of keep this by them as they're doing a wellness evaluation so they can kind of remember the flow as they're going through the wellness evaluation. So this is a good resource as well, okay? So those are all the tools that you'll need. Now let me tell you about the flow and the setup of how I do the wellness evaluation. So when I have somebody come to a wellness evaluation, 
Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do when they come to the wellness evaluation is make them feel so welcome, so welcomed, so loved, just so excited to see them. Okay. Your first impression will be a lasting impression. So make sure that you're on time, make sure that you look great, make sure you're rocking your button and the Herbalife brand, you know, you're really going to want to represent the company and yourself very well. Okay. Because this is your business as an entrepreneur. How do you want to show up for the appointment? Okay. You may not want to show up in pajamas with no makeup, not doing your hair and like frazzled and 10 minutes late. That's not a very good first impression. So I would definitely recommend that you look your best. Your attitude is in check. So before I go into a wellness evaluation, I make sure I have a positive attitude that I am, my mindset is clear, you know, because things happen. You can, you might have stuff going on at home or, you know, that needs to be addressed. But for the moment of the wellness evaluation, it's all about them. It's all about that appointment and giving them your all. So if you need to get what we call cleared and kind of get out of your head and maybe, you know, get into a good place and a good attitude, call your mentor. Say, hey, I just need to work through some stuff really quickly so that I can have a powerful appointment and rock this thing out. So if you call your coach, make sure you call with a solution and a willingness that you're going to get over the drama or the situation, not to perpetuate it, okay, because that's not what they're there for. But um, having a good attitude is going to be everything, okay? And they can sense that. You can't fake it. So, I mean, you can fake it a little bit, but you got to make sure that your mindset is, is good and that you're ready to give your all, okay? So just go in prepared for yourself personally. Now, when I have all my tools ready, what I like to do first is I like to explain to them. So, well, actually, let me back up. So first, I'll welcome them. We like to say welcome to the club because we do the wellness vibe with the club. So welcome to the club. Hi, are you Jenny? My name is Heather. It's so great to meet you. Come on in. Have a seat. You know, sometimes people bring their kids. I'll say, oh, your daughter's so cute. What's your name? And I'll be friendly and get to know the person, okay? It doesn't have to be long. But you do want to be able to connect with them. Connection doesn't have to be a long process, but make sure that you connect, acknowledge, and really make them feel welcome and greeted into your home, into, you know, if it's in a park, at fit camp, you know, wherever, you're going to want to make sure that they feel very welcomed, okay? Now, keep in mind, you can do these wellness evaluations um, everywhere and all methods plug into a wellness evaluation. So if you are doing fit camp, you know, you do a fit camp, it plugs into a wellness evaluation. Okay. You do a weight loss challenge. Everybody at the weight loss challenge gets a wellness evaluation. You do a shake party. Everyone at the shake party can sign up for a wellness evaluation. You do an in service. Everybody at the in service, everything plugs in to a wellness evaluation. Okay. So this is going to be the presentation you're going to want to rock out and get to know really well and be familiar and comfortable with because you're going to use this with everything. Okay. So, um, that's just a tip there, regardless of what you're doing, all things plug into the wellness evaluations, which will give you referrals and the cycle continues and you're able to keep building whatever method you choose to do to for your business. Okay. So I just want to make you feel like this applies to everything, everything that you're doing all plugs into a wellness evaluation. Okay. So after I greet them, I explain to them what we're going to do. I don't just start into it because, you know, when someone comes in, they're not exactly sure what to expect. So I want them to feel comfortable with me in the process. So I say, okay, Mary, here's what we're going to do. This is the wellness booklet you'll get. Okay. You get to keep this and take it home. It will give you good education about your fitness and your nutrition. And what I'm going to do is we're going to actually talk about your goals. So we're going to put together your body composition numbers. And uh, we'll actually see, we'll fill this out, this typical daily diet sheet. We'll see where you're starting right now and then what your body requires so that you can be healthier. And then I'm going to help you set some goals to work on this week. Sound good? And they say yes. And I say great. And then as we go through everything, you're going to get to sample three of our most popular products. And then what I sample, okay, so I explain that to them. And I definitely recommend whatever you want to sample, you're going to want to give samples. We know sampling is key. Okay. Results and sampling are the deal. When you give people a sample, they know it tastes good, which is important to them. They know it works because they can feel it. Okay. So sampling is really important. What I personally like to sample because we do it out of our club is we have the aloe, the tea and the shake. So typically we have people mix the aloe and tea together to sweeten the tea and then we serve them their shake. And then as I go through that, I explain what each step is. So I start them out with their tea and aloe. So I explain what the aloe is. I explain what the tea is. I say, great, what flavor do you want? Do you want it hot or cold? I have someone go get it or I go make the tea myself. And then I come back and then I say, great, let's get started. Okay, so they're enjoying their tea. And I'll ask them after they drink it, how do you like it? 
And now you want to make sure they love the sample. So whatever you are sampling, if they're like, oh, not really my favorite, no problem. Everything's no problem. I am not going to make you chug something and drink something that you don't like. Let's get you a different flavor, okay? And you're going to want to get them something that you love. Because remember, they're not going to buy Herbalife if their first impression is, oh, this doesn't really taste very good. This isn't really my favorite. Well, let's find something that is your favorite. And even if I have to go to two to three different teas to find the right combination that they love, I'm going to do it. I'm willing to do it because I want them to know that's why we have so many options and we can find a good option for them. Okay. So that's what I would do is one, make sure like, oh, this tastes great. You know, I say, great. You're going to feel an energy boost here in just a minute, but let's get started. And then here's what I do. So I, I actually start off the conversation the same with everybody is I ask them. So I like to ask everybody, Mary, what does wellness mean to you? Like, why do you want to be healthy? Why is it important to you? And I just am quiet and let them share. After they share, I say, oh yeah, absolutely. I feel the same way. Now, what two areas of your health personally would you like to see improved? And I let them answer. I say, okay, you want to lose 10 pounds and have more energy. That's probably pretty common. You're going to have people, a lot of people are going to want to lose weight and have more energy. And I say, great. Now, why is that important to you? How is your life going to improve when you, have, when you lose 10 pounds and you have more energy? So remember, I'm kind of asking the button questions, but in a little bit of a different way and a little more of a casual, like as I'm going through the flow of the wellness evaluation. Because I just ask them what their goals are and why those goals are important to them. So why, why do you want to lose 10 pounds? And I like to ask them, how is that going to improve your life because that has them visualize for themselves how it's going to be like they can actually see themselves there because sometimes people have goals but they can't even envision it's possible i want them to vision envision that they can lose this weight that they can feel good that their relationship with their kids and family can improve so i ask them how is life going to get better when you when you have that result and just let them share okay as a wellness evaluation what i used to do that doesn't work because i would talk way too much i just wanted to look cool like i knew what was up and i could talk a lot about nutrition and it was all about me that didn't work very well nobody wanted to buy herbal life because they don't it's all about me that, that's not about me it's about them so you're going to want to spend more time asking questions and letting them share versus you doing all the talking. Plus, it will be a dialogue, and that's how you build a relationship with people is by asking them questions and getting to know them. Now, it is a dance to be able to make sure and move the conversation along without them feeling interrupted or that you're being rude, but you do want to get good at kind of listen, being a very good active listener. Okay, listen to what they say. Get into their world and really be present. Don't be thinking about the babysitter at home or the groceries you need to pick up later. Like, really be present. And then um, get the, develop the skill to move the conversation along so that it can stay within the correct time frame, but you are also not taking any shortcuts or really feeling like you listened to them and heard them. So after that, I say, great. Well, you know, it's no surprise to anybody. This is the worst condition of health that we've ever seen. People are more overweight, tired, and depressed than ever before, and it's because people live on fast food and sugar. And I go through the list right here. Okay, it'll tell you right here why we're so unhealthy, which – Everybody knows why, right? And then all I do after that is, and that's really all I do, I flip the page and I say, great, Mary, but here's the good news, okay? The good news is, even though people are so unhealthy right now, anybody can change. I really believe that. But here's the thing. You need three things to do it. So the first thing, you really got to be serious and ready to be healthy. So on a scale of one to 10, Mary, how serious are you about losing that 10 pounds, time more energy? And I let them share. I let them tell me if they're, one to, if they're seven or lower, we're gonna, I'm going to ask them why. Okay, I only work with people that are eight, nines, and tens. Tens what I want. But if they're below an eight, we're going to have a conversation about it. Because typically, it's not that people don't want to change. There's usually a roadblock in the way that they don't have a solution yet of how to change. So, for example, they might say, oh, I don't, I don't know how. I don't know how to lose weight. I don't have the education. Or I don't have the support structure. I said, great. If I could show you a way to have a support structure and to know what you're doing, like have a plan, do you feel like you'd be more empowered to lose the 10 pounds and have more energy and you'd be closer to a 10? I'm like, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. So I, I address it in a way to be, you know, curious as to why it's, it's lower. Because most, if people are going to spend the time to come see you for a wellness evaluation, especially if they come to you, I don't usually go to their house um, because I feel like if they're willing to come to me, they're very serious and committed. So I'm going to give them my time and my all. And I, they're pretty much, in, they're pretty much serious or ready to make some changes if they came to your appointment. Okay. The second thing they need is you need 
the right education. Everyone's bodies and goals are different, so you're going to need different things. That's why we do these. So I'm promoting the wellness evaluation, why it's important. And the third thing is a coach. You support. Let's be honest. If you could do it on your own, you would have done it by now. So that's why having a coach and a support structure is so invaluable. That's what I'm for. I'm going to help you get healthier, lose this 10 pounds, feel amazing, and learn how to live a healthy, active lifestyle, not just a diet, like really how to change your life. And that might be an example of something I would say, and then I'm promoting me. And they're going to say, oh, yeah, I definitely, I need you. You want them to know that they need you because they do. If they were able to lose the weight on their own, they would have by now. Okay, so that's, you are invaluable as a coach. So remember that, you are valuable. And be valuable to them. And then, so let me tell you how I got started in this, okay? And then I like to share my results, and then I share why I do what I do. I do this because I love how people get healthy and happy. When they are healthier, you are happier, and you have a better life when you feel good. And that's why I'm so passionate about doing this. And then I share my results, I'll share my husband's results, and I'll share someone's results that connect with them. Like, let's say they wanna gain muscle. Then I'm gonna have like somebody's pic before and after pictures and say, oh, this is my friend so-and-so, they gained you know 10 pounds of muscle, they feel amazing, like, isn't that incredible? Look at their transformation. Because results are everything. Okay, a couple other ways that you can share results. When I would do them from my house, I would actually, for example, I would tell, if I had someone that wanted to gain weight, for example, I would message DJ earlier that day and I'd say, hey, DJ, I have somebody that wants to gain muscle. Would you be okay to share your product result around like, say, two o'clock, you know, about when I would, two, two fifteen after I meet with this person and could you share your results? I'll call you. And I would call DJ, put DJ on the speaker and he would share his product results with that person. Maybe that's a guy that wants to build muscle because he's going to relate more to DJ than he would to me. And I like somebody live. I feel like there's something about having someone live or in person that it's just extra magical. So if you can do that, that's always a great tip. Um, or if you're at the club, grab another member, grab another coach and have them share their results too. Okay. So, you know, 80% stories and results, 20% education and information. Always remember that. Don't get them swapped or that's, that's bad news. Okay. Um, so that's some tips with results. I say, great. So now what I'll have you do is I'm going to have you fill this out. And what I do is I just hand the booklet to them and I tell them what to fill out. I say, just fill out this top part and then answer these questions. Yes or no. And then I'm like, before you do that though, let me make you your shake. And I tell them what the shake is and how it's made. And so awesome. You're going to love it. And I have them pick what flavor they want. And then I go make their shake while they fill this first part out. Now I come back with their shake. And after they fill that out, and see, I used to fill this out for them, and you could do that. I just find it takes a lot of time. And plus, if I'm doing, if I'm the one making all the shakes and samples, and I'm gonna need time to go and do it, that will save you a lot of time. So I just have them fill it out. And then I say, great, Mary, okay, will you just fill this part out too, just for yesterday? That's key. Don't let them pick their best day. That's not the point. The point is, I wanna see what you did yesterday. Okay, and guess what everyone says? Oh, but yesterday was so bad. <laughs> and we know what that means. I'm like, this day wasn't the only day that you're, you know, having a challenge with. So let's just fill it. But I say, no problem. Just fill out yesterday and let's kind of see where you're at. Because this is really the purpose of this is for them to have a, a, like an awakening. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't know it was this bad. And you have people say that all the time. So don't worry too much about this for you. This is really for them. You're going to point out some things in this, but this is really for them. Okay. And then um, after they fill this out um, and they're done, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the wellness evaluation booklet, okay? And I'm going to do their body fat. I'm going to fill in all their numbers. And then I'm going to educate them on what it means. So I'm going to educate them. Here's where your BMI is. Here's where you need to be. Here's where your body fat is. Here's what it needs to be. Here's how much protein you need. And here's how many calories you need. Now, for a tip for you guys, Women never go below 1,200 and men never go below 1,500 calories a day. That will mess up their metabolism and slow down their progress for weight loss or gaining muscle, whatever their goal is. And then protein, I always point out the benefits of protein. Build muscle, boost metabolism, block cravings, and give you energy. That's why we need protein. And then everyone's body needs a different amount. And based on the lean protein estimator, that will tell you how much protein they need. It even tells you what meal plan to send them so that you know what they can kind of get an outline of what plan because on herbalife.com you can actually get the different meal plans plan a b or c and it will act you can email that to your customer and it will give them an outline of here have a shake if not have this as an alternative meal 
Or here, here's an example of a healthy snack. It gives them a whole day's outline of what their day could look like on their nutrition program. So I love doing that and it will tell you what plan to put them on. And I just, there's no place to write that down. I just write it up here at the top. And then after they do this, I say, okay, Mary, let's see what you are actually doing. That's what you need. This is what, let's see if you're doing it. And really all I'm pointing out is protein and calories. I like to point out what they're doing well at. Let's say they go to the gym a lot. I'm like, oh, great, you are so good at going to the gym. That's perfect, great job. Now let's look at protein and calories. So, you know, you're skipping breakfast, which doesn't have any protein in it, obviously. You know, you're eating, you know, macaroni and cheese for lunch, not really a lot of protein there. And then you're having like steak and potatoes for dinner and a rock star. You know, okay, you're getting about 25 grams of protein. And this is how you gauge it, guys. So for you, about this thick and this big, about the palm of your hand, that's about 25 grams of protein. Men have, it's like the size of a chicken breast, right? So about the size of a chicken breast, about 25 grams of protein. Men, hands are a little bit bigger, so it's close to like 30 grams. But that's how I gauge it. You don't need to be exact on how much protein and calories they're eating. The whole point is to point out where they need to improve. Like most people are getting way too many calories and not enough protein. So I always teach people, we got to switch that. We've got to lower the calories and increase the protein. And typically people need to work on water, fruits, and veggies. It's pretty basic nutrition education, but it's really powerful. Like we take it for granted that we know this stuff, but people are going to be really blown away and excited to know like, oh wow, this is like to have Somebody point out what they need to do and what they need to work on makes it so empowering for them to actually make changes, to actually sit down and do this. So you're doing a really good job just by pointing those things out. And I say, great, do you have any questions about this? They say, no. I say, great, let's go back to um, your booklet and let's see how many of these 12 questions you are actually doing. So this person is doing four. So she's making four healthy choices a day. Okay, I said, great. I want you to be a 12. I want all of these to be a yes. That's where you're going to have good nutrition and fitness and a healthy, active lifestyle. And these results are going to come naturally because you are eating healthy and living an active lifestyle. But that takes time. Okay, you're not going to change all your habits overnight. So let's just pick three that you are willing to work on this week. That's the key, willing to work on. Because you can point out what would be beneficial for them to work on, but they have to know what they're willing to actually do and work on. So I just have them circle three that they want to work on. I say, great. So we're going to work on protein, water, and exercise. Fabulous. How do you like the wellness evaluation so far, Mary? And I will ask her, I'll pause because I want to make sure she's getting value from the wellness evaluation. She's like, oh, I love that you're, you know, I found out about how much muscle I have and how much protein I need. And I'm loving that you're like kind of laid it out for me. This is so awesome. I'm like, great. I know. It's awesome. I say, let's set your goals. And then what I do is I write their goals on the back of their booklet so that they have them. And then I write them on the back of their typical daily diet sheet so I have them. Because remember, I'm going to check in on them and see how they're doing with their goals. And I want them to remember their goals so I write on the booklet because they're going to take this home. So after they do that, all I do is I go back to the back and I say, okay, because on this back page, there is um, a questionnaire and then the referral list. So I'll ask somebody, okay, on a scale of, I just ask them, did you find the information useful? Which is the first question. There is a scale one to five. I just always give myself a five. (laughs) So I just say, did you find the information useful? They say, yes. I say, great. And I circle it. I say, do you feel more empowered to make healthier choices? They say, yes. I circle five. And and then the last question is, what could I do to help you gain a healthier active lifestyle and actually apply what we talked about today? Most people say recipes or accountability. When they say accountability, they say, great. Do I have permission to hold you accountable and check in on you? And they say, yes. You want permission from them. So that way you don't feel like you're bugging them. There's an agreement that you can check in on them and that's what they wanted and asked for. I say, okay, perfect. Now here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you write down the people, Mary, that you thought of that you think might want to get healthy too and they can have a free evaluation too if they want. And I set that down in front of them and I go walk away and I clean the blender and uh, my mess from making the shake and I just let them fill this out. Okay. Now remember in the referral script, when you call people or when you're setting them up with your friends and family, typically these cost a hundred dollars. Like if you were to go anywhere and I've done my research, it's so true. If you go anywhere to get one of these, they're going to typically cost a hundred bucks. Okay. We do these for free. Now this is how we keep them free is if you like it, if you'd be willing to refer us five people that you think might want to be healthy too, does that sound fair? Now you're going to talk to them about that when you call them or when you message them and before you set up the appointment, that's the key. Don't, don't spring the one don't spring referrals on them. You might get a couple, you know, if you're really good, but I like to set them up in advance that this is the agreement. I do this for free. You give me five referrals. If you like it, 
Is that fair? Cool. So that way, when you actually go to ask for referrals, they're totally cool because they knew you were going to ask them. And that was the agreement. You did the free wellness station, they give you referrals. Okay, so they fill those out. And then I like to, just as a tip, I like to say, I like to make sure, one, I can pronounce everyone's name. Nothing's worse than calling somebody and slaughtering their name and not knowing how to pronounce it. So I make sure I know how to pronounce everyone's name. And then I also ask how that person knows them. So Mary, how do you know Jenny? Oh, that's your mom. How great. I'm excited to talk to her. How do you know Rachel? Oh, she's your hairdresser. That's perfect. Okay, so I like to know who I'm talking to. So that way, when I go back with a referral script and I'm calling their referrals, I kind of know, oh, hi, Denny. I hear you're Mary's mom. It's so great to meet you. I already know who I'm talking to and I already have a connection. And that makes it more comfortable when you're making calls to see if you kind of know who you're talking to. I personally really like that. And they say, great, thank you so much for your referrals. And then there's carbon copies. So you're going to rip out the yellow carbon copy. And I staple it to their wellness evaluation. And I put three hole punches in it and I put it in my follow-up binder. Now I have a follow-up binder. It's about that thick. You don't need, you might want to, you can start with whatever size you want, but I wanted to grow. I wanted a lot of clients. So mine is about that thick. And it has um, tabbies one through 31 for the days of the month. So what I do is let's say I did their evaluation on the first of the month. I'm going to put on the third of the month to check in on. So I'm going to put that paper slot under number three, the third of the month. So that way, when it comes to third of the month, I can open up my binder and know exactly who I need to follow up with. And I follow up with people whether they get on the products or not. Okay. Because remember, I still want to build a relationship with them because a lot of people, you know, will get on the products right away when you do an evaluation, but a lot of them won't, but they will down the road. If you continue to build a relationship with them and they know they can come to you as the Herbalife awesome person, awesome coach, then they will come back to you when they're ready. So, and then I also add them on Facebook and I have an archive where I keep their phone number, address and email. So I can put them on the emailing list to have my healthy, active lifestyle email list that I send out every week. Okay. So that's how I stay organized with the wellness evaluations. Now, one thing that you probably noticed that I didn't do is I didn't talk about the products a lot. I see a lot of people who will talk about the products in the evaluation. I personally don't do that. Now, when I give them their TNL and their shake, I'm going to say, how do you love that? Isn't that awesome? And I want them to love it, of course, but I'm not going to be like, oh, you're going to love the snack defense. Let's get you up for less to do and the rebuild strength. Because then it, if you do that during the wellness evaluation, it's just going to sound like you're pitching them. It's just going to sound like you're trying to sell to them. And everybody likes to buy. Nobody likes to be sold. So no one wants to feel like you're shoving products down their throat. Okay. So I don't, I don't talk about the products at all. And then after I'm done with the wellness evaluation, here's what I say. I say, Great, Mary. This is awesome. Would you like to hear about what I use to take care of my nutrition and wellness? And then she's like, oh, yeah, absolutely. I say, great. Let me tell you a little bit about Herbalife. And then I get my catalog out, and I do my catalog presentation, which is for another training. But here's a key, some tips with the, well, with the product presentation, okay? Remember, you just did the wellness evaluation. The whole point of the products is to connect the two and to give them solutions. So if they're not eating enough protein, we're going to recommend protein. If they're struggling with unhealthy snacks, I'm going to recommend snack defense. Okay. So pretty much what you're going to do is a product presentation and go through the quick start advanced and ultimate. Pretty much almost everyone you meet are going to want one of these three programs. And then I like to recommend one or two targeted products. Personally, I don't go through the whole catalog. I feel like that can be very overwhelming. So I just go over the key core nutrition products, the weight management programs, and then maybe like Herbal Lifeline, their fish oils, or Best Defense for their immune system, or Rebuild Strength for after they work out. One or two targeted products to add in to their program. Now, a couple of tips on your product presentation is, one, I like them to agree with me three times. I learned this from Jonathan Weber, president's team member over in LA. Um, you want them to agree with you three times. So for example, this is what I do throughout the wellness stage. I want them to say yes to me three times. So for example, when they have their shake, they're like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm like, yeah, could you see yourself drinking these every day? Like, oh yeah, I totally could. See, you were asked a question so that they could think and envision themselves already doing this. So like, if I'm, I'm going through the protein snacks Herbal Life has, I'm like, oh, couldn't you see how much easier it would be to have protein snacks already than to like make your own? So you say questions that you know are yes answers, so they agree with you three times, and they're already envisioning themselves like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. And uh, they will mole that will increase your, um, your sales with people getting on the products. The other thing that I like to do is I ask people, which program do you feel like works best for you? I let them pick. 
I give them my recommendations and words that I say is like, I absolutely recommend, recommend the snack defense because of your cravings and your blood sugar issues. You're going to absolutely love snack defense. And then I let them pick and I say, great. Is that the one you want? Let's get you started on that one. Is that the one you want? And they say, yes. Is it great? Let's get you started on that one. And then I write down their receipts. I fill out their order and then I weigh them in and measure them and they are all good to go. I set up day one, day three and day seven follow-up which is the follow-up schedule and the follow-up training. Of course, I talk to my clients almost every day the first couple weeks of their program. But as official weigh-in and measure them, I measure them on day one, day three, and day seven, and I set that all up, and I write on their products how to take their products. I send them an email with recipes and some instructions on the products too, and I make sure they're all good to go. And you know, you can get good enough at this that they can take you 45 minutes to an hour to do everything plus get them on the products. My evaluations used to take two to three hours. I would not recommend that. <laughs> not duplicatable, not fun, and takes way too much time. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so as you get practice and as you learn from your coach who is also really good at this you will be able to get better and better and keep it within 45 minutes to an hour okay so um and then what i like to do in the beginning when they would take that long is i would debrief so i would call my coach and I'd say okay hey, here's what worked like i said the results i gave them a sample but i talked way too much so next time i'm not going to talk as much i'm going to let them do more of the talking and i'm going to keep the flow going Okay, so I, you refine and reflect, and you, it helps to do that with your coach. So you're, you're, you and your coach can kind of dialogue, go back and forth on what worked and what didn't work, and then how you're going to get a little bit better the next time. Okay, now let me tell you how to build a business as recruiting through these. Okay, so also as I go through the products, I forgot to mention, I share my products, my income story in the beginning. So I'll say, you know, when I got started, as you heard, I got incredible results. Everybody wanted to know what I was doing. I made $1,600 in six weeks. It was absolutely incredible. Just out of getting results and being happier and healthier, people want to know what I was doing. So, you know, this is going to probably happen for you too. And I just plant the seed. I don't actually do a business invitation or try to pitch them on the business. I'll just say, hey, this is what happened for me. It probably happened to you too. It just happens naturally. You get results and people just want to know what you're doing. But anyway, nothing, enough, enough about that. Let's go through the products. Okay, so I'm planting the seed, but I'm not going to really say any, much about the business yet. But here's what I do. So after I get on the products, I send them home. Maybe a day or two later, I call their friends and family, the referrals that they gave me using the script. And I'll talk to like two or three of them and set up appointments. Now, after I've set up a couple appointments with their friends and family, I call back Mary and I say, Mary, you're not even going to believe it. Your mom, your hairdresser, and your sister want to meet with me. Now, here's the deal. Either I can make the money or you can make the money. I'd love to be their coach and help them. They sound awesome. But could you use some extra income? Do you want, to, do you want more information about how you could do this yourself without changing much of what you're doing? And they say, oh, yeah, absolutely. Send me some more info. And I either um, send them the pre-recorded webinar or I plug them into the Zoom on Tuesday night or if you have like live herbal life opportunity meetings, I plug them into some sort of business presentation as quickly as possible. And then you already have their appointments already set up. So they become a coach and you plug them in and they just show up to the appointments that you already set. You've set up their 72 hour plan. They're all good to go. And it's a no brainer for a lot of people when you've already set appointments and you have fr their friends and family already interested, it has the wheels in their head turning like, okay, I could really use some income. Now, if they say no, what I do is I give them referral credit. So let's say, okay, no problem. If you're not interested now, no problem. Um, when, you're, when your friends and family get on the products, I will get, give you credit. Like I'll give you some free products and hook you up for hooking me up. Like I really appreciate that. If you change your mind, just let me know. You're always welcome to, you know, get more information and they can be your clients if you change your mind down the road. So I never shut the door. Okay. But I do reward them for giving me referral credits. And that is how I build a business and chase the business through their friends and family and do the recruiting side of things. Okay. With the wellness evaluations. So that's another reason why the referrals are so great because you can either recruit from them or you can um, build your client base from them. You can do both. So it's really great for both methods, retail and recruiting. Okay. Now, um, this concludes our wellness evaluation training. I hope you got a lot of education from it. Absolutely love spending time with you and teaching you about something I'm so passionate about. Now, I want to leave you with this. Here's what you're going to want to do. In order to get good at something, you're going to need to be consistent in practice. We know practice is where you're going to really develop your skills. So like I said in the beginning, my what I would do personally is my goal was to do two wellness evaluations every single day. So I would challenge you to do the same and do them consecutively. If you do one evaluation or two evaluation a month, 
you're really not going to give yourself enough time and consistency to get really good. It's going to feel like you're starting over again every time you do a wellness evaluation. You got to do them back to back to back to back and consecutively for you to really start refining your skills and getting better. You don't get a six pack going to the gym once a month. Like you got to go consistently, right? So it's the same thing with your wellness fight, which if you want to develop the skills to get better at these, you'll want to do them consistently. So based on whatever goals you have, get with your coach. But I would definitely recommend doing two a day every day around your schedule. They're really, you know, easy to plug in around your schedule. It's only a couple hours a week. Okay. So for a lot of you who are part time or spare time, that would work perfect for you. And then if you're full time, you might even bump up the goal. Okay. But I hope you had a great time learning about the wellness evaluations. Again, thank you for letting me spend time with you. Let's set a goal to rock these wellness evaluation and go change people's lives. Love you guys.